call this one the square triangle. Uh, Ronda Rousey, Holly Holm, Misha Tate, and Ronda Rousey. And the reason why I'm calling it that, because I, I'm really in shock. I'm sure a lot of people are. If you watch the fight from uh, UFC 169 on Saturday, March 5th, everyone was shocked, I think, that Misha Tate defeated uh, Holly Holm. Um, I was really in shock myself. Um, I like Misha a lot. And when you think about, I call this additive regression. If A beats B and B can beat C, then A can beat C. And I mean by that is, well, if Holly, if, if Ronda Rousey has beaten Misha twice, and Misha's never beaten Ronda Rousey, as far as I know, and Holly Holm beats Ronda Rousey, you figure Holly would be able to beat Misha Tate. I don't know what that fight was all about. I think for the in watching the fight, uh, I think in the second round, Misha got Holly on the ground and was really effective at pounding away at her. But Holly was pretty good at um, withstanding that. And I think Misha Clean close to getting the choke hold, but then the time ran out. The third and the fourth rounds are pretty even. Uh, very uninspiring for the most part. Although Holly got some good kicks in. And that fifth round was pretty much going rather, I think, rather lackluster. And then Misha came in and got behind Holly, took her down on the ground, and got that choke hold in. And, you know, I tell you something, I tell you how strong Holly, Holly Holmes is. You know, she stood up with Misha on her back in the chokehold position and flipped her over. But as Misha said, by standing up, she enabled her to like get that arm under Holly's chin. And that really helped actually help Misha sink in the chokehold. And that was it. It was lights out at that point. But you know, Holly Holm, the warrior she is, um, did not uh, submit. She just allowed herself to be knocked out. <laughs> That's cuts. That's real guts, I'll tell you. I, I maybe it might have been different if uh, uh, Misha got an arm bar on her and and Holly let let uh, let Misha break her arm. I'd be like, wow, that's that's really that's superhuman to me. That's really smart. I'm like, so anyway, um, I'm kind of congratulating Misha a little bit. Um, I think some of her reaction after Holly beat Ronda was a little bit uh, poor sportsmanship, you know. She was gloating, and I know she was happy that to see Ronda be defeated, and I can understand that. Um, you know, like, I think Misha's even said herself, she respects Ronda the athlete, not the person. I, I can definitely uh, relate to many people feeling that way. Um, I've mentioned before in the past, I don't, I don't particularly like Ronda's lack of poor sportsmanship, you know, she doesn't touch gloves, I mean, and she doesn't, you know, she doesn't shake hands, you know, even when she wins, she doesn't do that, you know, which is, you know, kind of like, you know, it doesn't look good, it's not, it's not befitting of a champion. Holly Holmes, I don't know what to say about this, I think in, in, I, I like her, and I think that she's, uh, you know, shown static class for during the short reign that she had, um, uh, I've already commented before, um, I think that uh, she could have been a little bit more empathetic about uh, Ronda Rousey, the way she felt after the post-match and those sympathetic, those suicide thoughts. Um, but, you know, I, I can't, I can't, I, I've seen Holly Holmes talk about that a few times, and well, it was a fight, and I'm not, that was what I was there to do, and what have you, and if Ronda, like, felt suicidal about it, that's kind of too bad, and that's the, that's the impression I'm getting, so, in some respects, I'm a little happy that Misha beat her, <laughs> um, I think she kind of needed a little bit of, uh, getting her own, uh, you know, uh, come up and see. Although well, I thought that she very, uh, I thought she would have a very long championship range. And it just brings something very interesting. Why I call it the square triangle? Because it kind of reminds me after uh, Ali was Muhammad Ali was stripped of the title after refusing to go into the draft, and he had uh, wasn't able to box either. Uh, I think from sixty five to sixty nine, sixty uh, seven, sixty six to nineteen seventy, or somewhere around there. 
from 25 to 29 years old during the prime of his career, and his conviction was overturned in 1971 because they found him to be, uh, by the Supreme Court, because they found him to be a conscientious objector. And by the time that Ali fought Frazier, who was given the championship after, you know, well, not given him, but won it after Ali was stripped of it, Joe Frazier was no longer champion. And now you get this weird situation in the UFC, I mean, because Ronda was scheduled to face Holly Holm. Does that still go through? I mean, you know, now if it does, I think it's, I still think it should. I think it doesn't matter that the belt's not on the line. I think that ha Ronda needs to defeat this girl uh, if she can and at least do that. Because we know she could beat Misha Tate. Uh, the interesting thing is, well, with Misha's t Tate situation, I think it's interesting because uh, she thought about retiring. So it was supposed to be Misha versus Ronda, and then they kick her. They decided not to do that, and they decided to go with Holly Holmes. And I actually uh, kind of agree with that because I think because we already knew the outcome to that more likely than not. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but you know, remember Misha and Ronda have had two very historic fights between themselves. I think when Ronda beat Misha to become the Strike Force champion, then Ronda beat Misha again to become the first UFC champion. So I think everybody knew the. I don't think that would have been a big seller. I think everybody knew who was going to at least had a pretty good idea. With well, all the other fights that, like Katz and Gano, and you know, there's still maybe the unknown factor. But Misha's like, oh, come on, we know she's going to win. I think, I don't know, maybe they thought that wasn't going to be a good draw. I was definitely thinking that when I virtually heard that Misha was going to be like, oh, come on. I mean, she's beat her twice already. And I love Misha, too. I like her also. But um, I, come on. I mean, she's beaten you twice. And, you know, uh, you know, beaten you twice and, you know, sat resoundingly. Although Misha fought the second fight much better, she still lost. I think I mentioned in that one that Misha escaped from the armbar that uh, Ronda got in on her ascension, but Ronda got it a second time. You know, at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> and that was very, um, I didn't think that would have been a good matchup, but at the time. But when I heard that uh, that Ron was going to face Holly Holmes, I said, I think, wow, this is going to be a problem. And basically, I think a lot of people will, will, will agree with me that are out there. From what we've seen of Ronda's style, she's great on the ground, but she, she's got no, she doesn't really kick people. I've mentioned this before. She only seems to kick people when she gets them in the clinch. Otherwise, she doesn't kick. And Holly's throwing these kicks out left and right. These oblique kicks, spin kicks, kicks that somebody kicks to her face, a straight up kick. I mean, she's got these long legs like a gazelle, and she's kicking like crazy. I've never seen Ronda kick in any of her fights. If any of you have, maybe you can correct me, but in the fights that have been highlighted, so, I mean, because most of them are so short because they're, not, they're finished within a minute. Uh, you know, it's it's they're over and done with. But whenever I've seen Ronda put in the, the finishing move, she does the arm bar. Um, I think, though, that with this particular fight, Misha got to see the best of Holly Holm from that Holly Holm-Ronda match and knew what to avoid. And I think she said, I ain't going to make those mistakes that Ronda made. So, ironically, um, the Holmes versus uh, Rousey match served as a great blueprint I think for Ronda's, for Amisha's camp to study and to develop an effective strategy. Because, like I told you, when you really think about it, um, I, I, you know, they mentioned it briefly how, like, in, in Misha's fight with, with Holly, that Ronda got her on the ground once, but Holly got out of it real fast. And we never really saw Holly on the ground. And then when, that second round, Misha had her on the ground for a good part of that round. It was pounding away at her. Um, so she put Holly in a defensive position. And I think that also helped dampen Holly's attack. Because, you know, she was kind of afraid to move in a little bit like she usually does. And, of course, she's the champion. And she's like, well, you got to come to me. But if I'm not mistaken... That takedown was Misha ducked under one of Holly's punches and moved in and got her from behind. 
And the way the fifth round ended was just fantastic. I mean, um, you know, Misha took the chance and slipped in and just got in there. And Misha's a strong girl. I, I once seen her, I don't know personally, but I saw her do a YouTube video with these guys, the Janoskins. I don't know if they were these guys from Australia or something. <laughs> you know, it was, they're young kids, and she fought all of them and, you know, kicked the hell out of them. But she was training, and she actually, like, uh, propped herself up against a wall and like lifted up up her whole body with one hand. That's pretty strong. It sounds like to me for a girl, uh, and for anyone to do that is very strong. So not, I'm sorry, I don't mean just a female, but it was anyone to do that. But I was very impressed with that. So anyway, I think going back to the square triangle, which I mentioned before, I, I don't know what the UFC is going to do now. I mean, does Holly deserve a rematch against Misha right away? I don't know. I don't really know. Um, I think that Ronda's got a good argument. I'm supposed to be facing the champion. You know, I've been the champion the longest. and I. But I think that what really should happen next, I think Misha should face somebody else. And I think that Holly and, and uh, Ronda have to square off. I don't care if the championship belt is on the line. Ronda needs to do this. Because Ronda needs to prove to herself that she can beat this woman. And if she can, I think that's a victory in and of itself. And then she can go on against Misha again. I think it's going to be really interesting. Uh, a third uh, Rousey-Tate square-off. Uh, it should be interesting. Maybe Misha's better. Maybe Misha's picked up some new tricks. Uh, I think one of the things she's learned... And Misha threw in a few kicks herself. In this fight, not as effective as as Holly, but she threw some kicks in. I think we got to see what Ronda's weaknesses were in that Holmes Rousey matchup, and I think if uh, Misha can incorporate them into her lineup, you know, I think she can beat Rousey. And maybe Misha's got something to prove too. Misha's never beaten Ronda, so that's an interesting matchup. But I don't see it happening. I mean, uh, but I could be wrong. So, sometimes A is greater than B, and B is greater than C, but that doesn't mean A is going to beat C. And my friend and I were talking about the other day, because I had, he's not a big MMA fan, but we were talking about that whole formula, and he said, well, Mike, you know, just because, you know, Misha, uh, Ron has beaten Misha twice, it doesn't mean that Ron is going to beat Misha now. And and that could be true. I mean, uh, Misha may be a better... Uh, I think she's a lot more focused. I, it, is, it was about eight weeks ago that she was thinking about retiring. They didn't know what to do with her. So I'm actually kind of happy in that in some respects. I don't think that Holly Holm is going to come back. I think she's had her minute in the sun. But I think what Misha proved, Misha proved that she's not an MMA person. She's not really a mixed martial arts person. I mean, it, now really seeing it. Because we didn't see her weaknesses against Ronda, because Ronda dominated. Here, this was a much more even match. Um, Misha's a much better shape than Ronda is, physically, it looks like. And Misha was focused and prepared. So I don't know whether a, a fully prepared uh, Ronda could beat Holly Holm, and maybe we'll see that, but who knows. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this. Uh, I'm always interested in uh, people's comments, even though I may not seem like just a small flip on the radar, but I think they are interesting. And uh, I think it's a, uh, I'd like to hear other people's comments. And uh, please like it up, and I hope to hear from you soon. And this is Mike's Anything Goes signing off. Bye.